All right, if you're a subscriber already, you may recall a while back I did a review on this XZNY 24 volt 100 amp hour battery, and I was really impressed with this battery. So impressed, in fact, that I began talking with the folks over at XZNY about working together in a little bit bigger of a way. Their company's focus really seemed to align really well with the future plans that I have for this channel. I believe the future of solar is in the reduction of the size of the lithium iron phosphate batteries especially in compact spaces like RVs, tiny homes, camper vans, overland trailers, and stuff like that. The ability to cram the maximum capacity in a small space has really been the underlying principle of lithium batteries in all industries, not just this uh, DIY solar stuff. And I'm happy to be a part of the movement to adapt this idea into the DIY solar market. XZNY informed me of their commitment to this compact design and they told me they were releasing an entire product line of compact lithium iron phosphate batteries of the various sizes and capacities. So I'm really excited to be a part of this product launch for the compact series of lithium iron phosphate batteries. And here they are. So we have your 24 volt, uh, 100 amp hour. You've got a 12.8 volt, 280 amp hour, a 12.8 volt, 310 amp hour battery your 12.8 volt 100 amp hour ultra mini this is a nice compact uh size for 100 amp hour and they also have these um these little guys a, a 12.8 volt 18 amp hour battery and a 12 amp hour battery as well we're going to do a series of videos on this channel of each of these batteries and i was the reason i had aligned with them i want to get back to doing educational type of content more and teaching people how to connect and hook up either 12 volt systems 24 volt systems or even 48 volt systems and so they have been kind enough to provide me with all the tools that i need to make that series of videos as we get more into the 24 volt and 48 volt systems so keep an eye out you're going to be seeing a lot of these batteries on my channel I really liked this so much. It was it was a really good price, and this compact size is pretty amazing. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to focus on this 12.8-volt, um, 310-amp-hour battery. Uh, we're going to do a capacity test. We're going to get this all set up. And uh, before we do that, though, I will tell you that my channel is not going to be doing battery tear-apart videos. Uh, other people do that sort of thing and they want to do that with their channel. That's great. I, I'm not really into that, but I am into watching it. So uh, one of the channels that I watch is uh, Brad Cagle. I'll drop a link to his channel down in the description. He tore this uh, 310 amp hour battery apart and got a look inside. And it was really impressive to me. A, they're using their own brand of BMS and they have one ot cables on the inside of this battery. That's like unheard of in a budget battery like this. So you just can't get much better quality on what's on the inside of this. Um, and it does have a, a very fast, low temperature protection that operated really, really quickly. And that's another th important thing that I think that all battery manufacturers nowadays, this low temperature protection should be a standard feature. And what I've started doing is if somebody's trying to get me to review their battery, if they do not offer low temp protection, I won't even review it anymore. So uh, that's a critical factor to me and a quality build that goes over the uh, capacity test. This one did really well when I did the capacity test on the previous video. So we're gonna see if this new 12.8 volt compact series is going to live up to the hype. So let's go ahead and get that capacity test started, get this, all this other stuff out of the way and get it going on. All right, we're all charged up here. Let's see what she can do. I'm gonna start this off really high to test it for a couple of minutes to uh, see this does have a 200 amp BMS in here too. So we're gonna try to get this up. We're gonna charge our, our big power station over here at 1800 watts for a little bit. And then we'll reduce it down and about a thousand watts for the duration of the test. So let's get that going. All 
I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell and get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. All right, so we passed our capacity test with flying colors, even uh, better than I expected. Just with my experience with XZNY, that doesn't surprise me, really. Like I said, this is a fantastic battery at uh, a, a good price. I don't know how they're able to do this, but the fact that it had the XZNY BMS in there makes me believe that these they are an actual manufacturer, not just uh, rebranding somebody else's uh, battery and sticking a label on there like a lot of these companies do. So here's my final thoughts on this 12.8 volt, 310 amp hour XZNY battery. What I'm trying to do on my channel, like I said, is I want to educate people uh, who are just starting out, the beginners, they want to get into solar, they're not sure what kind of uh, stuff they should get. So I want to focus rather than just keep doing a bunch of reviews of one 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery after another, which is the way it's kind of been for a while now. The beauty of doing that has been sort of a necessary evil to weed out and find the companies that I really want to work with, that I really recommend, and XZNY is one of those companies. So I want to make a solid recommendation and say that, yes, I would absolutely buy XZNY batteries. I've already done all the capacity tests uh, in advance, and I can tell you that every single battery that I've got has exceeded the rated capacity by a fair margin. I want to eliminate confusion to, for the beginner that doesn't know where to start and what do you really recommend because there's one up battery after another and they're all pretty good. But when it boils right down to it, what do you really recommend? And for me, one of those batteries is definitely the XZNY brand. If you're only building a small system, then I would say a 100 amp hour battery is an okay. Or if you're on a really tight budget and you didn't want to build this over time, invest a small amount each time on each battery, then a 100 amp hour battery is a pretty good choice for that sort of thing. There's a lot of flexibility to be had with 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries. But if you're building a system of any substantial nature and you want to do things like cooking or whatnot, I really recommend something bigger than a 100 amp hour battery or at least two 100 amp hour batteries at a time and i really recommend 24 volt or 48 volt over 12 volt unless you're in a vehicle which and you need the 12 volt stuff you have a lot of 12 volt appliances or things like that then 12 volt makes a lot of sense outside of that i recommend 24 volt as a starter system even and 48 volt if you're really ready to build a, a good size system that's expandable. But the beauty of something with a 300, a 300 amp hour battery is this is similar to having three 100 amp hour batteries together. Compared to a group 31 size battery, which is what everybody was using just a year ago, or in some people still are. There's, there's nothing wrong with those, but there's just a lot of wasted space on the inside of the case of a Group 31 battery. So them cramming all of that into the space of something that's not really much bigger, it's about maybe an inch or two bigger each way than a uh, Group 31 size battery. So, and you're getting triple the amount of capacity. Like that's, that's what the game is, as far as I'm concerned right now, is getting these things down to a manageable size. And even the 100 amp hour minis, it's really, it's, a, it's about the same size as that. If you put three 100 amp hour minis right in front of this, it would be approximately the same footprint. But you save money on wiring. This wire is not, not cheap. You know, especially when you're dealing with 12 volt, you need heavy gauge wire. This is a one aught cable. And depending on your 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 power pull, one aught may not even be enough. You may need to get two aught, and and a a piece of twenty foot piece of two aught cable is almost two hundred bucks for a positive and negative. So there's a significant investment that goes in to the wiring, and uh, we'll go into some of that more when you uh, increase the voltage. You can reduce the size of your wire and save a lot of money that way. And the same thing is if you had four 100 amp hour batteries, 
uh, connected or three 100 amp batteries in parallel, you need a piece of wire to connect each battery. So not having to, to do that is a real convenience and a real savings, even though sometimes the, the larger capacity batteries cost a tiny bit more than buying three 100 amp hour batteries. It, it all balances out in the end and by the time you add the cabling that you need to do to connect it and the reliability of not having to have so many cables is a big deal. So with a 200 amp BMS in this, you would be capable of running a 2000 watt inverter and, uh, and, and cooking with an induction cooktop or other higher uh, wattage appliance. And then if you added two of these, you would have a pretty powerful system, either wired in parallel or in series. Because if you're wired in parallel and you want to stay at 12 volts, you're limited to four batteries in parallel for the most part. That's what most of the BMSs support. So if 400 amp hours is not going to be enough for your system long term, and you got four batteries and you put them all in parallel, that's the system's maxed out. But if you had a 300 amp hour battery or 280 amp hour battery like their other one, you can still put four in a series. So your, your ability to expand into a larger system is greatly increased if you start your system with a larger battery. And that's what I recommend everybody do, unless you're just building a little portable power station DIY job or uh, some small uh, thing running some lights in a shed or something fairly, fairly small. If you're trying to build a significant system to go off grid, either in van life, a tiny home cabin or something like that, I just wouldn't recommend a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery as a starting point unless that's all your budget will allow. I would definitely go with 200 amp hour, 280 amp hour, 310 amp hour, somewhere in that neighborhood and uh, expand as you go if you can afford to do that. I mean, just a couple of years ago, a uh, 100 amp hour battery cost what this does. So that's what a lot of people who got into this a few years ago uh, can see what an incredible value this is. I got a special discount code down below that's exclusive to my channel. And you're going to save 7% instead of 5%. So you can save a few extra bucks by using my code. So here's how you do it. Click the link down below that will take you to Amazon. They have a $90 off coupon. So you can combine those two things. So click the, when you're when you're on the page and you're adding this to your cart, click the $90 off coupon code. And then when you add this to your cart or whichever one you want, add it to your cart, go to checkout and then go to where your payment options are. Down at the bottom of the payment options where like you'd put your credit card number in, or, you know, your credit cards are listed that you have saved. There's a space there to add a coupon code, discount code, or a gift certificate. Click that button there, and that's where you insert the code, and that's where you how you'll get an extra 7% off. And that'll make this a smoking deal. I absolutely love this battery. All right, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.